Late at night, an unseen army scurries through Cairo's streets, quietly collecting and then hauling away over five million pounds of garbage. They are the Zabalin. The word means garbage people in Egyptian Arabic. They are all Coptic Christians, and 60,000 of them live in Cairo, many in Mokattam, nicknamed Garbage City. The Zabalin are among the poorest people in Egypt. Until recently, Garbage City had no water, sewage, or electricity. Despite this fact, the Zabalin have managed to create one of the most efficient recycling systems in the world. They reuse over 85% of the garbage they collect from over 12 million people. Each family has its established route, handed down through generations. Because most of the Zabalin's income comes from recycling, they charge little or nothing to haul away the garbage. In fact, they often pay the building owners for the right to collect trash from their tenants. Once home, the women and girls do almost all the sorting. It takes 10 to 12 hours a day, even when everyone pitches in. The Zabalin tend to have big families, since they need lots of extra hands. Initially, the garbage gets separated into general categories. Paper, plastic, cardboard, and metal and then resorted into astonishingly specific piles. You can tell a lot about a city from its garbage. Since they don't wear gloves, tetanus is a constant threat. And nearly half of the Zabalin test positive for hepatitis. Given their environment and poor hygiene, they get sick a lot. All organic waste is fed to pigs. This is why the Coptic Christians have a monopoly on trash collection. Egypt's 80 million Muslims don't eat pork. Pigs are the Zabalin's main source of income. A six-month-old piglet, destined for the tourist resorts, will earn the Zabalin almost $100. In April 2009, disaster struck Egypt's garbage collectors when the first case of swine flu appeared in Mexico. Even though no Egyptian ever caught the virus, the government ordered every last pig in the entire country to be slaughtered. Without pigs, the recycling industry was unsustainable. Garbage piled up on Cairo streets with nobody to collect it. The children of the Zabalin suffered most since pork was their only affordable animal protein. Families banded together to try raising other livestock without much success. They are only now beginning to rebuild their herds. Luckily, the Zabalin have a few other ways to earn a living. Some of the materials they collect, like plastic bottles, can be resold to factories as far away as China. But first, they have to be compressed. So they get handed over to a family that specializes in crushing plastic. It's basically just a metal container with some homemade modifications.
You want to watch your fingers around here. They actually sort by brand. This comes from the American pile. The kids start helping out when they turn five or six years old. By the time they're eight, they practically run the show. There is one thing in the garbage that's worth its weight in gold. Secondhand oil cans. They get flattened and used to fix roofs and walls. But the Zabalin do more than just sort garbage. They turn it into raw materials, ready for manufacturing. 